The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Chapter number 2, text number 11. Given by His Grace, Sriman Sankarshan Dasadhikari. Recorded on September 23rd, 2008, in Sofia, Bulgaria. Shri Bhagavan Vacha Vashochana Vashochashtvam Pagnava Dhang Shabhasase Gatasun Nagatasun Shcha Nanu Sochanti Pandita Translation in purport by the Mahan Sri, the Prabhupada. The Supreme Personality of God had said, while speaking learned words, you are mourning for that which is not worthy of grief. And those who wise lament neither for the living nor for the dead. Purport. And the Lord at once took the position of the teacher and chastised the student, calling him indirectly a fool. And the Lord said, You were talking like a learned man, but you do not know that one who is learned, one who knows what is in the body and what is the soul, does not lament for any stage of the body, and neither in the living nor in the dead condition. As explained in later chapters, it will be clear that knowledge means to know matter and spirit and the controller of both. Arjun argued that religious principles should be given more importance than politics or sociology. But he did not know that knowledge of matter, soul, and the supreme is even more important than religious formularies. And because... He was lacking in that knowledge. He should not have posed himself as a very learned man. As he did not happen to be a very learned man, he was consequently lamenting for something which was unworthy of lamentation. The body is born. Now he can stay here. I'll train him. He can stay here. I'll train him how not to do it. He's good. He just has to remember. The body is born and is destined to be vanquished today or tomorrow. Therefore, the body is not as important as the soul. One who knows this is actually learned. And for him, there is no cause for lamentation, regardless of the condition of the material body. Nandi Shri Guru Shri Jata Bada Kamala Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shcha Shri Rupa Sagrajatan Sahagana Raghunatan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadaitam Zavadutam Prijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Deva Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakon Vitam Shcha. So, Arjuna is being chastised, is being a fool. Because, uh, 
Hiroshima и наказвам за това, че е глупак. So, should we think that I know better? I am not a fool. Трябва ли да мислим, че аз знам повече и затова не съм глупак? I know the philosophy of Krishna consciousness. I'm no fool. Аз знам философията на Кришна съзнание, аз не съм глупак. Should we think like that? Трябва ли да мислим по този начин? That's a foolish thought. Ето това, това е една глупава мисъл. The more you can see your own faults, the more you advance in Krishna consciousness. Колкото повече човек вижда своите грешки, толкова повече напредва в Кришна съзнание. How many times do we mourn for that which is not worthy of grief? Колко често ние скърбим за това, за което не си заслужава да скърбим? Prabhupada says, lament for any stage of the body. Do we lament when we get sick? Дали изкърбиме, когато се разболяваме? Do we lament when we see the body getting old and moving towards death? Скърбим ли, когато виждаме, че тялото ни устарява и се приближава към смъртта? It's rather sobering. This last week, two of my godbrothers left their bodies. Are the texts. Последната седмица двама от моите духовни братя напуснаха телата си от сърдечни атаки. Many of my god brothers and god sisters who are of my age, they are leaving their bodies. Много от моите духовни братя и сестри на моята възраст напускат телата си. It's becoming a very common occurrence to hear another Prabhupada disciple has left the planet. Това става много често събитие да чуеш, че още един ученик на Прабхупата е напуснал планета. So, if I get the news that I will be soon dying, I have some cancer and I will very soon die. If I lament, then I am fool. Why am I a fool? Because I am thinking I am the body. This bodily concept of life is very hard to uproot. Тази телесна концепция за живота е много трудно да бъде изкоренена. Very, very difficult to approve the bodily concept. Много трудно може да бъде изкоренена. So, how will we be successful in uprooting the bodily concept? Така, как, как можем да успеем да изкореним от тази телесна представа? The Mayavadis, they just negate it. Mayavadите, те просто я отричат. I'm not the body. Те казват, аз не съм това тяло. I am Brahman. That's how they negate. But they are not successful. Permanently. Even if temporarily they can escape the material existence. By their so-called Brahman realization. Of Ruhya Krishchena. Пърдан, пърдан, тада, пърдан, юто, надрите, юшмат, ангрияха. Пърданти, едхо, дей, фал, даун. Те отново падат. Unless one can awaken one's true spiritual identity. Освен ако човек не се бои своята истинска духовна идентичност. Живера сварупа хой кришнера ничия дас. Unless one can, that I am the eternal servant of Krishna. Unless you awaken that consciousness, you can deny that you're the body all day long, but you'll still be attached to it. Your spiritual realization will be merely theoretical. It will not be practical. So, how do we make practical realization that I am Krishna's devotee? We have to act according to the instructions of Krishna. Ние трябва да действаме в съответствие с наставленията на Кришна. Someone may say, well, I'm a devotee. 
But then why are you acting against the orders of Krishna? The devotee of Krishna is not something rubber stamped. And if you are actually a devotee, then you will follow the instructions of Krishna. If you do not follow the instructions of Krishna, then you must be thrown into the ocean of grief. Because you are continuing to reaffirm your so-called bodily existence. The only way to practically realize that you are Krishna's devotee is to become totally fixed in 100% subservience to the orders of Krishna. And those orders are given in the Bhagavad Gita. <clears throat> Very nice instructions are given. Manmana Bhavad Bhakto Majad Jivang Namaskuru Mam Vivasya Shri Yugdvayavang Atmanang Matparayuna Engage your mind always in thinking of me. Offer obeisances and worship me. Being completely absorbed in me, surely you will come to me. This is the order of Krishna. He wants you to always think of him. Please come in here. We have room. Come in close here. Here's a spot right in here. Someone bring him a cushion. So, the point is this. Krishna consciousness is practical. Mayavadism is mere theory. There is no practical realization of the spiritual identity of the, sp- of the living being. He is denying his material identity. In theory. But he is not able to get free from the mentality of his material identity, which is, I am the Lord. Therefore, the Mayavadi, he concludes, I am God. You're supposed to be humble when you're self-realized, isn't it? If you think you're God, how you can be humble? I'm the supreme Lord of all existence. They actually teach like that in the Hatha Yoga class. They give a visualization to the students. But now I am making the sun rise. Now I am making the sun set. Now I am making the moon rise. In this way they guide the students through a so-called transcendental meditation. And the students think, wow, this is great. The Guru is teaching me how to be God. Actually, they're just being cheated, that's all. Does it make sense that a living being could be God? 
How everybody in the yoga class could all be God, all the yoga students, each and every one of them could be the Supreme Person. Does that make sense? Supreme means one without a second. And there's 43 students in the yoga class. They're all being taught to think that they're God. It means they're less intelligent fools. That how I can be God and everyone else here can be God. They're so carried away with the idea of being God, they don't, they don't, these, they don't ra- rationally analyze the, the instructions being given. Human life means thoughtful life. Brahmana means one who knows what is Brahman, one who lives what is Brahman, and teaches what is Brahman. In our Iskan, we are giving Brahman initiation. And Brahman initiation means he knows what is Brahman, he lives what is Brahman, and he teaches what is Brahman. He is fixed in them. We give first initiation very leniently. To encourage the students to take up the path. And once they demonstrate that they are solidly fixed on that pathway, then we give Brahman initiation. So, everyone should strive to become fixed in Krishna consciousness. Why is that? Ahaita ki apritiyata yayatma suprasiditi. Devotional service must be without interruption and without motivation in order to completely satisfy the self. If sometimes you do bhakti and sometimes you do non bhakti, you will not be happy. You'll be torn between two worlds. If you do bhakti for some material goal, you will not be satisfied. Of course, it's better to do bhakti even if it's a material goal. Because gradually, by doing that bhakti, you become free of material desire. But you will not be satisfied as long as you're doing bhakti for any material purpose. The example is Dhruva Maharaj. He lamented like anything that he was approaching Vishnu for the purpose of getting a worldly kingdom. He lamented like anything for that desire. When he realized what a stupid mistake he had made, it pierced his heart like a burning dart. He said that I was looking for some broken pieces of glass, but now I have found the rarest gem. So, we should learn from Palam, uh, from Dhruva Maharaj, I mean to say. Can you try to say, Dhruva Maharaj? 
to do bhakti for the rare gem, not for the broken glass. Because whatever material thing you need, if you achieve pure bhakti, Krishna will give you everything. You do not need to make separate endeavor. Simply try to cultivate pure bhakti, that's all. How do you do it? You simply beg for it. Krishna, please engage me in your pure devotional service. Every day you should repeatedly beg Krishna, please Krishna, please Mother Radharani, please Lord Krishna, please, 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 please engage me in your pure devotional service. This is a very nice prayer coming from the spiritual world. Um, uh, using this prayer, we are begging for pure bhakti. Mm. <clears throat> what is that prayer? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Therefore, we require that all of our initiates, they must beg Krishna 16 times around their begging beads, their prayer beads every day. It's like sometimes we want to get the government to take some action. So we make a petition. We try to get 100,000 signatures for the petition. But this petition, your signature alone is enough. But you must sign it 1,728 times. And submit it every day. And then the Supreme Government will take you seriously. This one is not messing around. This one is serious. To become my pure devotee, let me bless him. Therefore, if you are not yet chanting 16 rounds, you should become steady at whatever level you can maintain. And then gradually increase as soon as possible. The 16 rounds, at least. This is the order of His Divine Grace, Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Parivajakacharya Asta Tarisata Shishima A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Tri Dandi Go Shami Maharaj Prabhupada. So, if we can please Prabhupada by our sincerely following His instructions. And he will shower all benedictions upon us. Like torrents of rain during the monsoon season. This is our business. Here in the Krishna consciousness movement. Kindly join us. If you're already a member, become a true member. Don't be a dancing dog. Going back and forth between Krishna consciousness and Maya. Become fixed in pure bhakti. Ananyas chintayantomam yejana paryupasate teisham nichipyuktanam 
Yogachemam Vaham Yaham. Krishna says that those who worship me with exclusive devotion. Meditating on my transcendental form. For them I preserve whatever they have. And I personally supply whatever they are lacking. So you don't have to worry about anything if you fully surrender to Krishna. Krishna will accept you as his, his pet child. And he'll take care of everything you need. And Krishna has an unlimited supply. <laughs> Not that he's lacking. He can give you whatever you need. All you have to do is fully surrender yourself to Krishna. And if you're not there yet, which is our present position, beg like anything on a regular daily basis. And Krishna will bless you. So I can ask now if there's any questions. Yes, Manaji. Yeah, it's not it's it's called karma mishra bhakti. Yeah. It's bhakti, but it is tainted bhakti, impure bhakti. In words, here you have bhakti and here you have fruit of activity. Somebody who tries to mix them, they go to the church, they bow down. Just like that Cindy businessman that he ran the jewelry shop in Houston. He used to come every Monday morning to the temple. He would take darshan. On his way to open his business for the week. So he would do a little bhakti. He would come and slightly bow. Just a little tiny... <laughs> to the deity. So that's a little bit of bhakti, you know. <laughs> but he wanted a big thing. He wanted a lot of money. So that's called karma, mishra, bhakti. It's not real bhakti. But it is accepted as a, as a mixture of bhakti and karma. Yes. Well, Prabhupada himself is using this term. So, I have faith that Prabhupada is using the term correctly. What you're saying is true. Your point is very well taken because bhakti means pure bhakti. If it's not pure, how it can be bhakti? But still, it is sometimes described as bhakti mixed with fruit of activities. Questions, more? Yeah. Yeah. 
is it is it correct if we lament or uh, suffer uh, for leaving the body because of our relationship that we have with the devotees? Because we are not sure that we are going back home, back to Godhead, and we will be able to see them again. Is it correct to suffer because we are leaving the re- relationship with the devotees? Lamenting because of the devotee who is not... What is it? Is it, tell me clearly. Lamenting because of the devotee who is that he the no. lamenter is not going back. Or the, no, no. The uh, other one is lamenting and suffering. If we, if I leave the body, because this will terminate my relationship with the other devotees. No, actually, the relationships we have with devotees they are never terminated. They only become terminated if you fall away from Krishna consciousness. But if you go back to Godhead, you remember all your relationships you had here with all the devotees. You remember that wonderful kirtan led by Raja Krishna Prabhu in Raja Krishna, yeah. And he's living the other day. You remember that kirtan? <coughs> Prabhupada explained that the devotee, when he goes back to the spiritual world, he can remember all of his devotional activities he rendered while on this planet. So, you can cultivate relationships with devotees, with guru and with Vaishnavas, knowing full well that these are eternal relationships. Questions, Mark? His question is how to improve our uh, attitude towards non-devotees. Yes, it's very important that you have a very positive attitude towards the non-devotees. Positive attitude means compassion. If we want to go back to Godhead, we have to get the mercy of Krishna. And if we want the mercy of Krishna, we must get the mercy of Srimati Radharani. And if we want the mercy of Srimati Radharani, we must get the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. And if we want the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, we must get the mercy of Lord Nityananda. And if we want the mercy of Lord Nityananda, you know how to get that mercy? You have to compassionately approach the Jagayas and Madayas to give them Krishna consciousness. By distributing books, by Harinam Sankirtan, by Ratha Yatra festivals, by Prasadam distribution, by so many means, public programs. And you must, we must reach out and help the Jagais and Madais to become devotees. If you don't have a compassionate attitude towards Jagai and Madai, you will not get the mercy of Lord Nityananda. And you will fail to get Lord Chaitanya's mercy also. And you won't get Radharani's mercy. And you won't get Krishna's mercy. So you must have a very compassionate heart towards the non devotees to give them Krishna consciousness. Questions, Mark? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
съдам от някой, който не е бакта, а, като го предложим от, от този, от който сме го взели, става ли бакта? Дали той става бакта? Да. If we, if we take something which is not prasadam from a non-devotee and offer it to Krishna, does this person become a devotee also? Mm, for example? Например, може да дадеш пример. Like someone gives you an apple or something? Някой, ако ти я дай ябълка и ти я предложи. Така ли? Нещо такова. If somebody hands, yeah? If somebody hands you an apple and say, here, I'm going to give you this apple. And then you offer that apple to Krishna. That person becomes blessed because the apple went to Krishna. So he gets the mercy of having given something to Krishna by your kindness. He has gotten the mercy of giving offering something to Krishna. Any other question? Обаче царя Дощира, той е чист предан и отдаден, а пък за нас това е изключително трудно да победим особено гръбовете в нашото сърце. И Кришна чрез Багава Гита ни дава това знание, това оръжие, обаче ние не можем дори да повдигнем това оръжие, този меч. Какво може да направим в тази ситуация? Ние сме чисти предан и отдаден. For us, it is very difficult to, to defeat the enemies in our hearts. And Krishna is giving us the, the weapon, the sword of knowledge in the Bhagavad Gita. Mm-hmm. But it's very difficult to use it, this mm-hmm. sword. How, what can we do in our situation? No. <clears throat> How will a soldier on the battlefield be an effective fighter? He has to be well trained in all types of weapons. How to fight and defeat the enemy in all kinds of situations. So no matter what situation he may face from the enemy, he is prepared to counterattack with great force and expertise. И затова каквато и ситуация да бъде поставен, атакуван от врага, той може да отвърне с голяма сила и опитност. So if you read these books of Srila Prabhupada very, very carefully, така ако четеш книгите на Srila Prabhupada много внимателно, you read all the books cover to cover, прочете всички книги от кора до кора, Prabhupada will train you how to become an expert fighter against Maya. Srila Prabhupada ще те обучи как да станеш експертен боец срещу Maya. You have to read the books. That's the key. Read them very, very scrutinizingly. Prabhupada will give you everything you need to know. To handle Maya in every situation. Questions, Ma? Um, should we should we take up service related to uh, preaching if we if we know if we are aware that we, we cannot do it properly or expertly you should get the training and then take it up трябва първо да се обучиш и след това да, да се заемеш с това служение. The desire to do is very good. You realize you're not qualified. All right, find someone who can train you. And then do it. Желанието да го направиш е много хубаво, но щом осъзнаваш, че не си квалифицирана, наведи някой, който да те обучи най-напред и след това го направи.
Questions, man? Is it true that if we do something slowly for Krishna, we are we are enjoying it actually? Is this correct or is this wrong? Not necessarily. You might be doing it slowly because you're hitting it. Because <laughs> you're not enthusiastic about it. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, hearing this, by hearing this, I become a little afraid because uh, uh, someone may think that uh, better withdraw so that I do not make mistakes. <laughs> What's the question? Okay, the question. The question is: If you make mistakes, do you have to do it? So, if you make mistakes, if I make mistakes, that's all right because because I'm learning, is it? <laughs> or I should not make mistakes. Accident is our accident is one thing, but if you go on intentionally doing the wrong thing. And then your spiritual life will be ruined. Po случайно се ако сбъркаш, това е окей, но ако възнамеряваш да правиш грешното нещо отново и отново, тогава тогава духовният ти живот е He's giving the example with the microphone today. Yeah. It's like like that this type of mistake. Yeah, that's so your spiritual life is not ruined, you just have to get the microphone, that's all. Duchovnyati život ne svršil, prosto treba da namereš mikrofona i da go da nesešte. Shouldn't put your spiritual mass when you're difficult to... Questions, Mara? He has got already three or four questions. Can can he ask them? Uh, well, I'll ask him one and we'll see how deep it goes. <laughs> see if we have time for the other one. First, uh, first one is short. What is what is the purpose? Purpose? What is the purpose of this con? Then by Shiva Prabhupada. To um, to make the members Krishna conscious and to make the world Krishna conscious. So then is con and the prime ego with the children of Krishna says nothing. It's a less fair Krishna says nothing. Well, that's them. Hmm? That's what I said. To make the members Krishna conscious and the world Krishna conscious. First thing I said, the members. Си 
и да бъдем казвам съвсем нали, честни и приятелски. Най-добрият начин да, да бъдете спасени е да спасявате други. Въпрос е. Въпрос е как, как те двете неща вървят ръка за ръка, защото. А, макар че спортно в нашата същата лекция, мисля, че казах, че когато има пожар и няма пожарникари квалифицирани, стават и хората в вода с, с колкото вода. И все пак въпрос е как тия неопитни хора, хем да, хем да поддържат собственото си лично съзнание, пък и да дават на другите. Може ли да го съкрепя? Може. Надявам се, че предава също. Да. А то е план, че нямаш ли си? Така че ще So, in, in relation to this question is, um, um, isn't it that, um, that we, we be, become saved by saving others? Isn't it the, the real purpose? Yes, but you have to save yourself, otherwise you don't have no purpose to save others. Да, така е, но най-напред трябва да спасиш себе си, иначе няма да имаш сила да спасяваш останалите. So he's, he's remembering one lecture of Sukhatram Swami uh, in which he says that uh, uh, we, we all come to ISKCON to, to become saved. But I, I'll tell you frankly that in order to, to become saved, the, the best way to become saved is when you save others. Yes, yeah, so everyone should preach. But don't think that simply by preaching you can neglect your regulated principles. No, I think that when you preach, you can break the principles. Because I'm a preacher and, and drinking alcohol helps inspire me to do my preaching. To break the regulated principles, you think that I'm a preacher and I drink alcohol helps inspire me to do my preaching. To break the regulated principles, you think that I'm a preacher and First, you be fixed in the principles, then you're qualified to preach, and then by preaching you'll advance more and more. But you must strictly follow the regulated principles and chant 16 months as the basis, first of all. Основата е човек да следва четвърте регулиращи принципа и да възпяваш да не се крева. Това е първото нещо. Must a third question. This is in relation uh, with the question of uh, Nagadamani Prabhu and your answer. He has understood it in another way, that there are many people uh, who are attracted to Krishna consciousness. What the Krishna? They, they are attracted. attracted okay. Yes. But when they understand that there are so, so many, so to say, scare, scary things, <laughs> it's, one can make many mistakes, uh, therefore they, they become re- repulsed. So the devotees who are training and engaging the devotees, they must be very thoughtful in how they engage them. Let them taste the nectar of Krishna consciousness. Let them use their talents in Krishna's service and really experience the bliss of Krishna consciousness. Дайте им възможност да използват талантите и дарбите си в Кришна съзнание, да изпитат блаженство. And then gradually introduce the rules and regulations. И тогава постепенно им въведете и правилата и предписания. You don't have to demand that they immediately follow the rules and regulations. Не трябва да очаквате или да изисквате от тях веднага да следват правилата и предписания. Let them taste the bliss of Krishna consciousness service. Нека да вкусят от блаженството на служенето в Кришна съзнание. 
But someone who's taken initiation, they have to strictly follow the rules and regulations. If they're not ready for initiation, let them remain non-initiates and do do service. We don't need initiated devotees who don't follow the rules and regulations. Better let them be non-initiated mem- ISKCON members. If they're not inspired to follow the rules and regulations. If one thinks the rules and regulations is some imposition on my happiness, they're not ready for initiation. Initiation is for those who realize these rules and regulations are the doorway to happiness. That person is ready for initiation, not others. Can you give a can you give a clear definition of what is uh, to criticize other devotees? For example, if, if we see something which is wrong, and we just pointed out, isn't it just stating the facts? What is actually criticism? Real criticism? Well, there's different types of criticism. There's constructive criticism and destructive criticism. Actually, before someone is willing to take criticism from you, they must be willing to take it. I mean, they have to. If someone is going to hear from you, they have to like you and trust you. If you don't have a relationship with someone, your criticism will probably be just a waste of time. There has to be love and trust there. We're so where someone will take criticism. Love and trust means they understand that your criticism is not based on unloading and over mentality. They will understand it's done out of a sincere desire to help that person. So just go around criticizing is a very dangerous activity. It means you're blind to your own faults. To not look at your own faults, you simply look at the faults of others. But, if you are sincerely trying to become a pure devotee, and you're cultivating loving relationships with the other devotees, especially with the Madhajis, with the devotees, the male devotees, it's more formal thing. Some distances there. To protect from <coughs> sex attraction. But if you're actually in, engaging in a very sincere way, trying to be a positive Krishna conscious influence on the community community of devotees, sincerely trying to rectify your own faults, 
and sharing, lovingly sharing what you've realized with others. Then the devotees will appreciate your criticism. Because they know where it's coming from. It's coming from a sincere desire to be of service. So criticism can be constructive or it can be destructive. So you should, first of all, Prabhupada said, be very strict with yourself and very lenient with others. So are you very strict in your own personal sadhana? She wants to be strict. All right. So now become very strict in your own sadhana. Six, no, I'm not, I don't like trying. I want success. <laughs> Try means you may succeed, you may fail. I don't accept. I don't. I demand success. You must rise early every morning. By 4 a.m. Take your bath. You come here for Mangalarti, you have Mangalarti at home. You must have Mangalarti every day. Sing the Gavastik and prayers. If you, if you can offer to a picture of Prabhupada, to your Guru Maharaj, Prabhupada, and uh, Panchatattva, you can offer an arti and sing Gurvasta Kampir. Chant 16 rounds, read Prabhupada's books. You're an initiated devotee, you have to be strict in your practice. You're a disciple of a great spiritual master, His Holiness Bir Krishna Maharaj. You're his representative here in Bulgaria. You're not strict in your sadhana. What sort of signal are you giving to the devotees here about your spiritual master? You should think, let me make a very good reputation for my guru by being a very good disciple. So, I think our time is up. You had one more? Two more. Two more. <laughs> Actually, we have three minutes till eight. Go ahead. At least one of them, I think. First, the first question is to what extent you are pleased with what you, we are doing here in Bulgaria as a community? To whatever extent you are pleasing Prabhupada. <laughs> by doing exactly what he says in his books and in the instructions that he's given on how ISKCON should be conducted. So in many ways I'm pleased with you and in many ways I'm not so pleased with you. But I am patient but I am determined also to shape and mold this Bulgarian yatra to bring it more in harmony with Prabhupada's teaching. Next question. At 30 seconds. His 
next question is in relation to the statement of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that one should preach in, in his area where he is born and where mm -hmm. he lives. Mm -hmm. Is this uh, uh, true in all cases? Or is this relevant in all, in all cases? Why wouldn't it be? Lord Chaitanya Zura wouldn't be relevant for you? Because we practically see that many devotees from Bulgaria, they left Bulgaria and they are successful in Krishna consciousness in other places. So yes, you're very good at exporting devotees all over the world. Okay. <laughs> I think you're suffering from a trade deficit. <laughs> so you need to make the society here stronger so the devotees won't want to leave. By chanting purely Hare Krishna Mantra, that will, that will be the means. It all depends on the purity of your chanting. If everyone will chant purely without any offense, then this will become very powerful yatra. Devotees will come from all over the world to join you. If you become pure in your chanting, does it mean that we are uh, at fault that these devotees have left us? You should feel some fault here. Yeah. You should feel some responsibility. Of course, sometimes it's not really, it's circumstantial, just like, sometimes they, the, just like Raja Krishna Prabhu, he left here, he wasn't a member of ISKCON, but he, he wanted to get away from Bulgaria to expand in his outlook on reality, and he happened to meet the devotees and join in South Africa, that's different. But if someone, if someone joins ISKCON here and then wants to go somewhere else to practice Krishna consciousness, that means there's, you need to get your, you need to become stronger here in Krishna consciousness. So I, un I understand that the, the means or the remedy is the quality of our personal chanting. Yes. But s sometimes if, if, we are, if we are not together, if we are too... Um, uh, we are separated, then uh, maybe... Then you come together as much as possible, that's all. Every available opportunity you should come together with the devotees. Which reminds me, we are having a wonderful, ecstatic festival. I'd like to invite all of you to come. Tomorrow morning at 4.30 a.m. It's called Mangal Arti. <laughs> Everyone's invited to come tomorrow morning at 4.30 a.m. for Mangal Arti, Tulsi worship. Nice japa period, uh, greeting the deities, worshipping Prabhupada, and then Bhagavatam class at 8. Everyone's invited to come and be a part of this wonderful festival of transcendental bliss tomorrow.
всички сте поканени на този прекрасен трансцентален фестивал на сутрешната програма. So go home quickly and take rest as early as possible and get up. Sorry, and come as, as early as possible tomorrow morning. Затова прибирайте се колкото може по-скоро вкъщи, лягайте си и станете утре рано за този фестивал. They say that the family that prays together stays together. Те казват, че семейството, което се моли заедно, остава. So tomorrow we can all pray together. Sam Sadadava Nalali Daloka Shanaya Karya Naga Naga Nahadvam Pratasha Karya Naguna Navasya Vande Guru Shi Chara Nara Vindam Yeah. Now We can sing softly. I've suggested if it's possible, like in a recording studio, they put padding on the walls. You might be able to insulate, sound insulate the wall here like they do in a recording studio to be able to get away a little bit more. That's something to look into. It wouldn't be that difficult. Put some sound insulation like in recording studios all, all along the wall here. It might really make a big difference. Something to investigate. Talk to some people who who have you know who have recording studios and ask their opinion. What what could be done to make it soundproof so we can have a little bit but I tell you, even if we whisper, you say you may say, Oh, why should I go? There's a sound restriction, but I have to tell you this, at twenty six second avenue, they were under sound restriction. The man upstairs didn't like the kirtan. You know what he would do? When the kirtan got a little bit enlivened, you know what he would do? He would pour boiling water through the floor. He would come leaking through the cracks in the floor, the boiling water dripping. He used to do that regularly. And Papa would have to say, okay, everyone be very quiet. So if Papa could have a quiet morning program and enliven the devotees, we can also do it here. We can be very enlivened with a soft kirtan if we have to. Okay. Plus it's good for me, I can attend. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, can we have one more, Vishnu Huh? One more? Children are getting arrested. And he has one more? You said gather together as as much as possible. W- would it be enough to become purified and to attract other peoples? This as as much as possible. Huh? You said to get together as much as possible. Right. And he's asking, would it would this be enough as much as possible? To would what be enough? Would it be enough? Would it be enough to become to become purified and attract other people? The more you do it, the more you will advance. That's fair. And the more you advance, the more you'll be attractive to others. It's not a matter of either, you know, it's a matter of degrees. Ten, you know, it's simply a matter of degree. The more, the more you become fixed in a wonderful cooperative community, Atmosphere here, the more you'll attract people. It's simple. Yeah. If you're 10%, if you have a 10% developed, you get 10, you'll attract, do 10% worth of attraction. If you've got 20% uh, cooperation spirit developed, you'll have 20% attractive power. In this way, you understand? It's proportional. So, so then maybe you can give us a clear definition what does mean cooperation because we may have different opinions. No, be here for Mangalarti and be, you know, just be here as much as possible. That's, that's my request to all of you. The programs here, be here as much as you can for the programs it's every day. That is cooperation. Yeah. 
doesn't change huh? cooperation. The place being a And there are also programs at the other center too? So Kuri it's called? Yeah. I know I was giving the video classes there. So when this the Hare Krishna people here in in um, Sophia, the more you can get together and do things together, the more you advance. It's such a simple thing. Pra- everyone who's Prabhupada and then here, who want to follow Prabhupada, the more you all get together and do things together, the more you become strong. It's a simple thing. You don't understand? This cooperation mean, mean on only the, the place because we know that we have to go out and uh, do preaching, distribute books and harinams and prasadam distribution. So this cooperation only is limited to the place here? Of course not. Why would it be limited to this place? You should be out preaching every day as much as possible. Harinam, book distribution, every day. When you have some spare time, hit the street with some books or go door to door. You can go together, you and your wife and your child, you can go together as a family, door to door, the book distribution. Okay, we'll stop here. And Raja Vijayashimad Bhagavad Gita Ki Jai, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai.